what up jeff joseph back with another video man it seems so weird talking to y'all from inside so i'm gonna go ahead and go outside right quick hold on all right y'all so you see the thumbnail you see the title so you already know what i'm about to talk about but before i get into that in uh in florida getting the truck serviced so i got some time to talk it should go big bertha right there got some time so i'm gonna go ahead and get into this topic but before i do i want to go ahead and thank y'all man want to appreciate send some appreciation out to all my subscribers um you know i started this journey i was just sharing my thoughts i was just talking really i didn't really even know if anybody would subscribe <laughs> i didn't know if anybody would even be interested in what i had to say and really i started the channel to uh to kind of motivate and inspire my girl so she could uh, start doing her own YouTube journey uh, to show her that it can be done. Um, and all you gotta do is just put yourself out there. And so anyway, I just wanna thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. And if you haven't already, click that like button, go ahead and click that like button, subscribe, because I got some more content coming through. I figured I would just slide back on out here like I haven't been gone for the last three weeks and nobody would notice. But, <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know. I did tell y'all that I was gonna take some time off um, over the road and I took about a week off. And then from there, I kind of just Amazon around to get out the South. Um, y'all know I'm from New Orleans and I'm based out of Houston. So I spent some time, some time doing some things that I wanted to do, hanging out with, uh, with family, hanging out with my girl. And then, uh, you know, I got back on the road and I just Amazon around to get out the South. And from there, um, I ended up getting a crazy load that picked up in Alabama <laughs> and went all the way to Massachusetts. But it had 10 stops, y'all. It had 10 stops. The money was too good to pass up. It actually um, was a, they were paying me for like five days worth of work. Uh, but I got it done in two uh, because I don't be playing around. So <laughs> it is what it is. Um, and then from there, kind of did Amazon again to get out, you know, the north east region it's not really a good region but I amazon out of there actually surprisingly they were paying really good um so i don't know shout out to amazon because y'all making a comeback at least in my eyes um but i ended up taking the load that went to uh brooklyn new york which ended up being a nightmare actually um, so i take that back <laughs> but that's not the point of this video i took an amazon load that was paying really well went into brooklyn and um i dealt with all that craziness and i got a load from queens down here to Orlando, Florida. Well, I'm actually in Jacksonville, Florida now, get the truck serviced. But um, took that load, and that's the load that I just dropped off and finished y'all seeing. It went to Orlando, uh, where uh, I was at Disney World, Disney Springs. Disney Springs, and again, another good paying load. Um, obviously, because it was coming down here to Florida, uh, Florida is not really the best zone, so they pay you to come down here. But you gotta pretty much get it how you live to get out of here. So I have a plan for that. But yeah, man, this load was, like I said, pretty good paying load, but it had me doing some crazy stuff. For one, it was picking up uh, Queens, New York, and um, that was just an experience in and of itself. I never thought that I would be driving myself around in uh, New York City, and I definitely didn't think I would be doing it in a box truck, but um, I did and <laughs> had to deal with that. The crazy drivers, the traffic, um, the tolls, man. I hate the tolls up here. Like, oh man, so many tolls. I don't know how y'all do it up here. Well, up there. I don't know how y'all do it up there. Um, it's like so many tolls expensive tolls at that like 26 dollars like jesus and i don't even understand what that's for because the roads were tore up it was always traffic what are, what are y'all even paying the tolls for i don't know but anyway i had to deal with all of that and then, then when, I, when i finally did pick up the load it was a mess for one i had to find my own pallets i had to find my own pallets which was a crazy situation in and of itself i'm telling the broker yeah i got pallets i got pallets so i knew i was gonna find some pallets so i found the pallets um uh ended up i ended up uh finding pallets at this recycling yard that i was uh parked close by actually um at a vegan restaurant that i was uh trying to get breakfast at they had a uh, recycling like the county recycling place was right there and they actually had a whole ton of pallets so they gave me 
um, whatever I needed. So I took those pallets and from there, so when I actually did finally make it to the mall, because the pickup was in a mall, it was a store inside of a mall, the mall loading dock was closed. So I had to park uh, on the street behind the mall, take my pallet jack and the pallets that I just uh, rescued and <laughs> walk up a hill and around a corner and around another corner because the only entrance to the mall that had a handicapped accessibility or that I could even get through the, the doors I could even get through with a pallet and pallet jack uh, was in the front entrance. So I had to go in the front entrance of the mall, had to walk through the mall with a pallet jack and some pallets, walk through the food court <laughs> and walk past all these people. Everybody looking at me crazy like, what is he doing? And I'm feeling all kind of hobo-ish because, you know, I'm, you know, I'm thugging it out. I'm on the road. So it was a scene. Um, I get to the store and they're expecting me to package and load up the inventory, right? So I'm like, this is some wild stuff. Um, I've never seen anything like this before. I'm not going to do that. And uh, so basically we compromised. I helped them do the heavy lifting part and they figured out the rest and um, ended up bringing it on down here and the rest is history but i'll show you how that goes right here <laughs> i don't know All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and post up right here real quick. I don't know who truck this is, but they, their uh, name of their company is Moving and Grooving. So shout out to y'all. That's something that I always say. Uh, so shout out to them real quick. But I'm gonna post up on your truck real quick. So if you do see this, what's up? But um, yeah, y'all, like I was saying, I've been moving and grooving. Um, actually, I'm gonna post up on this truck because the lighting is better. But um like i said i've been moving and grooving and uh you know i made it through the blitz i know a lot of people was talking about the blitz a lot of people actually hit me up about that wanting to know if i was all right and i appreciate y'all people actually hit me up was wondering if i got caught up in that and that's why i hadn't made any videos um but no i i made it through just fine i didn't have any issues i didn't even get stopped um y'all know i got the yellow tag right now so they pretty much waved me through i didn't have any issues at all but i know a lot of people actually did have a lot of issues uh, with this blitz that happened last week and was put out of service for 10 hours and 24 hours and, or whatever and also had a lot of you know a lot of issues with their truck that they had to get fixed i know at least two people personally and then i saw like a lot of other people um also had the issues and the biggest thing that i saw was the eld so i told y'all don't play around with them people with that eld monitor because they definitely gonna check it so if you ain't listen to me too bad but if you're listening to me now my guy roger is ready for y'all with uh with a whole little setup plan with keep trucking well they used to be called keep trucking now they're called motive and so anyway um they got a promotion right now he actually hit me up and said that anybody that i sent his way he got free equipment for y'all All right, so anyway, what I wanted to say is a lot of people be DMing me, asking me questions, as well as leaving questions in the a, in a comments, which I'm gonna talk about that one more, one more thing I'm gonna talk about. But asking me questions in the comments about, uh, you know, the expenses and things like that. And what I wanna say is not all trucking businesses are created equally. You know, it depends on how you set up your business and you know, what your expenses are, right? So I met this guy um, just randomly before I took this trip out in New Jersey. And um, he was telling me he'd been in the game for 20 years and he actually, truck that he was driving, he had that truck when he first started out or maybe a year or two after he started out. The truck was 20 years old. Um, it was a 20, no, it was a 2002. 
and he was still running it, right? So he's telling me all everything that he's did with the truck and how much work he's put into it. He's trying to sell it. And um, <laughs> and so he was just telling me about his experience. And I asked him like, you know, what type of loads he was getting, what type of rates and what type of loads he was doing right now. And he was like, he could take pretty much anything. And I was like, anything? He said he could take a dollar seventy. He could take a dollar sixty. And he was saying it's because his truck is paid off. His insurance is cheap. He's making money. He's making 10, 15,000 a month <laughs> with a 2002 old ass truck. <laughs> so his expenses are not as bad as somebody like mine uh, who is relatively young and my insurance is a little bit more expensive. Plus I have a lease, right? So I have I can't take a dollar 70. I don't know who can, but there are people out there who, who can who can take a dollar 70 and they do and that's why you see um those loads go those cheap freight go on a lit on a, on a low board but you can't be mad at them because they're still making fifteen thousand dollars a month they just don't have you know they their expenses are like two thousand <laughs> right, so like i was saying before that train interrupted me um they're still making 10 and 15 twenty thousand dollars taking cheap freight so you can't really be mad at them if their expenses are only two thousand dollars a month <laughs> like i don't know it's crazy but i guess people can do it so um what i got what it got me thinking is it all really just depends on how you set your business up that's how i'm able to take the rates that i take versus somebody who has a rider truck who's paying twenty two hundred dollars a week plus insurance um plus fuel costs plus uh you know whatever whatever else expenses that we have they're paying what seven to eight thousand dollars a month if not more just on the truck itself that's not including fuel costs and if they're over the road the fuel costs i know is going to cost you about seven to eight thousand dollars a month to run a box truck right so yo you got to set your business up in a way that you can win don't just go out there and just do what people on the internet are telling you to do right like don't just go rent a rider truck and think you're gonna just make money unless you got a really good deal just make sure that you do your due diligence and don't get mad at people who are taking cheap freight i'm not one of those people i'm not telling people to take cheap freight i'm just saying you can't get mad at people who taking cheap freight I don't know y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think um i personally had to realize that hey you know that's the industry that we're in i think i definitely do think that if you want to win that you need to you need get to get you some contracts with some shippers and um you know stay local if you can and get you some dedicated freight get you some contracts and get you some you know direct shipper loads and um that's how you really win in my opinion so that's what i'm working on um, what I wanted to say, also why it took me so long to make another video is because uh, social media is exhausting. Um, YouTube is exhausting. YouTube protects y'all. YouTube protects the community, protects y'all from seeing all the nasty comments that people say. And um, anyway, I still have to go in and approve certain messages or, you know, even once you do that, I don't know, people who have YouTube pages, you can, you know what I'm talking about. You can go in and you can see the messages that were removed. And some of these messages, y'all, I know they wouldn't say that to me in real life, and if they did, I'd slap the shit out of them, and it'd be a problem. But it's exhausting. Um, I appreciate all the support that I do get. Y'all are great. Y'all be handling some of these comments that I don't have to. I don't have to, and um, that's great. I appreciate y'all. And you know, I'm looking for more people like that, right? So if you really support the campaign, if you like this video, make sure that you like it and make sure that if you haven't already, you subscribe and that you be ready for when these people come in my comments, y'all can handle that for me because I can't say nothing. I can't say what I be wanting to say, but y'all do and I appreciate y'all. But that's it for this video. I'm about to wrap this up. Um, I'm gonna start being more consistent with the videos. Um, but I've been tired, man. This shit is exhausting. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and leave it right there. Y'all comment below, as always. Let me know your thoughts, and uh, I'll get back with y'all in the next one.